Hello. Hey, and how are you? Remember uh, last time? Uh, yeah, yeah, but you know, uh, uh, too many names in my. Uh, it's hard even to know who is the who is the person who's. You know what I mean? What make you think that Muhammad is a prophet? Well, they say like he was a really uh, decent man, and uh, he was, was a decent debate, man. Uh, Muhammad was a decent man. Is it true that he was accused of stealing underwear? I saw that, but I have uh, okay. I have no idea what anyone, uh, what the Shia Tafsir say. So, any one of your friends ever accuse me that you stole an underwear before? <laughs> no, it's funny, right? I'm not trying. I'm not being rude to you, but I'm just having a conversation to show you how how bad this is. So, when when the followers of a prophet of God, they accuse their prophet that he stole a piece of a clothing. And this piece of a clothing itself, they stole it from a Jew or from someone else. What kind of gang they are? What kind of people they are? I am, let us say, you are a good person and you have good friends. And now you stole some fabric from somebody and now you are fighting who took the underwear. And they are accusing that the prophet is the one who took it. And how the prophet he answer? Do you see the verse in the screen? Yes. Okay. What do you think about this verse? No prophet could be false to his thoughts of any person. Yes. Um, can I see the uh, tafsir uh, yeah, you can about see the this tafsir. from no Shia? Problem. But you see here the problem, the translation is false. It says no prophet can be false. It doesn't say false. It says Yagul, which means he is a thief. No prophet is a thief. This is Yusuf I translation. Do you know any English translation for Shia so we can show it to you? If there's any famous Shia translation, you know? No, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, translation is, yeah, it's not uh, the best uh, option, actually. Is, they are saying like, false. Yeah. I don't know what the word false have to do with the word Yagul. If we go to the Shia, uh, I forgot you speak Arabic. Uh, kind of uh, like uh, not because not uh, really I good, know. but do, I do quite you know, understand. Do you know any website for the Shia I have tafsir in English? What do you say? Do you know any website for the Shia I have tafsir in English? Because I have, but no. it's in, uh, in Arabic. I don't. You know, it is in Arabic. Um, I have not. Uh, I don't think that they exist, but. Um, yeah, this is why I'm asking you because you are a Shia, so maybe you have uh, some uh, information about that. Uh, chapter 3, verse number 161. Let us see the Sunni first, as long as this is what we have. Uh, those things actually, neither the Shia or the Sunni, they really don't have any disagreement about those things. Uh, let us see what is the reason or what is behind of this story. I'm looking now for Shia tafsir at the same okay, time. Read careful uh, with me. This is tafsir at Jalalain. When some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, it's a theft. Some of the people, which means the Muslims, began to say, perhaps the Prophet took it. In the following, the verse was revealed. It's not for the Prophet to be a fraud. Yagul, a thief. You see in the translation how they fool us? They say it's not for a prophet to be false. But this is not about false. This is about being a thief. It says it's not for a prophet to be a thief. And then, okay, how Muhammad, he proved that he is not the one he stole it. By giving a verse, saying Allah said it's not me who stole it. Shouldn't Allah tell us who is the one who took it? <laughs> what do you think? Wait, if Allah is machine. God, if Allah is God, shouldn't he knew who is the one who stole the underwear? Yes. Okay. So what the point of saying Muhammad is not the one who took it, but yet he will not tell us who is the one who took it. Um, Do you understand what I'm saying? If I am God, yes, I'm if I am God and my prophet was accused of being a thief, shouldn't I say to them, okay, it's not Muhammad, go to the house of this guy, I know everything, open his closet, or maybe take off his panty, you will see it. 
So all what Muhammad he did, he gave them a verse claiming that Allah said, it is not him who took it. Why Allah did not tell us who is the one who took it? Um, imagine, but, uh, imagine in the court, imagine we have a court and somebody was accused of stealing some lingerie from Victoria's Secret. And in the court, the guy, he said, I will give you a verse from Allah saying it is not me who took it. The judge, he will let him go then. It's very Islamic. So the only proof Muhammad he have that he is not him who stole the underwear, that he gave them a verse claiming that Allah told him that. How we knew that this is not Muhammad himself saying this. Until now, by the way, the underwear is missing. If anyone have an idea, please call uh, uh, the, the FBI of Saudi Arabia because it is really uh, a big case. Even Allah, he could not find out. Even he called Colombo, you know, Detective Colombo, Sherlock Holmes, and they could not find the underwear. I mean, look how silly this verse is. People accuse you of a theft. You say to them, Allah said to me, it's not you. What about you tell us who took it? Okay, this is uh, Tafsir Jalali, huh? or, uh, It doesn't matter. Shia, yeah. Shia is not better, my friend. Shia is not better. If Shia is better, I can switch the Shia, go to Arabic because they don't have it here in English. And can we? Can we go? Yeah, we can go uh, to the Shia. No problem. No problem. You go, like, go use to the this Shia. one. Uh, tafsir al uh, Tafsir al Burhan. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We can go to the Shia. We Hold on. We can go uh, here. They have. Uh, let me show you what they have in the screen. They have Tafsir al Quran al Tabrasi. Uh, Ali ibn Ibrahim al Qummi, al Tusi, al Tabatai, al Kashani, al Jinbadi, al Shirani, al Bahrani, al Burhan, 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 al and I will open it in Google and Google so we can click one click and do the translation. It says the same exactly as we saw in the Sunni. Look like the Shia and the Sunni, they agree about this one. All right, we are translating now. Here we go. This is Tafsir al Burhan. Yes, okay. I'm looking at the screen. All right, it says in the top Hisham al Burhani. This is Tafsir Google. So, you know, take that into consideration. It's not very accurate. But it's saying the same that it says that uh, uh, the the uh, the the attribute uh, to the prophet that he took a piece of a clothing, which is a red velvet underwear. Do you see it? Wait, I I think the screen is uh, not on time. Wait, wait. Refresh the page, maybe if you refresh it, it will work. Mm -hmm. Yes, red velvet. Okay, platter. I don't know it's what it means. So it's the same. Uh, you know, uh, they accuse him that he took a piece of her clothing, and Allah He gave him this verse saying to them, He did not take it. Thank you very much. So, what do you think about this madness? <clears throat> Muhammad is a prophet of God. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Take easy. <laughs> I'm losing my voice uh, talking too much too many people uh, you know he is a prophet and then Allah he sent him a verse to prove that he is a decent man by what by telling them it's not Muhammad who took it so how we can take this as a and actually here uh, you, you will see clearly that they're accusing him to be Yagul Yagul is a, is a, is a thief and he's a fraud I mean, how? But wait, um, uh, did it uh, mention uh, uh, who the thief uh, was in the no. in the Shia tafsir? Like, no, I didn't. No, no, there's no way to mention anything. Wait. Nothing. No, there's no nothing. To show, it shows, you know, there's nothing in the in the uh, in the whole tafsir of the Shia. I don't know. I never. If you know something, let me know. No, I don't know why. Uh, because, just, because, uh, because looked, you see, uh, quickly, like how, it was how, the Shia, how the Shia even will come to tell us who is the one who took it if nowhere it says who is the one who took it. And I, as you see, Allah Himself he did not say. So, 
Here you notice that Muhammad was accused by his followers, but here you notice something very important. If you have a very good people, quality people around you, are they going to accuse you really of seeing clothes? And you are their prophet? What do you think? What kind well, of what, what kind of a, of, a, of, a, of a gang Muhammad he have with him to the point they accuse their prophet and leader that he is a thief? What do you think? Uh, uh, actually, that's uh, strange. But you know, maybe uh, it is uh, it is uh, possible uh, if they are not uh, decent and they want like their not being honest okay. i mean people are, can do they are not decent horrible things. okay why the companion of the prophet are not decent if the companion the first to believe in him they are a bunch of thieves and gang so what kind of a prophet he is you know in the middle east we say if you want to know him tell me who's your friend i will tell you who, who you are correct tell me who's your friend i will tell you who you are if you if your friends okay. are a bunch of a druggie and drug people drug dealers then you are like them do we agree yeah, uh, if they say uh, uh, there is a hadith that uh, man uh, man uh, man he, uh, he, he, he's, he's from uh, them you are right yeah. like he became one of them if he you know, if, days, yeah he yeah. became like yeah. he, he became one of them okay so muhammad is working with people who they are gang obviously and they themselves accusing him to be a fraud so what was the relationship between muhammad and his companion then business as you see Sahaba, yeah, and, uh, in shia in shia islam uh, they are uh, very very uh, hated uh, omar and yeah uh, for but, example but <laughs> regardless of the names Abu Bakr. regardless of the names obviously they are if if they are bad, that means Muhammad is bad. I mean, why I want to walk with you? Why want to go together, drink coffee together, uh, go and fight together, believe in the same God together? We pray together. Yet you we, you you are bad, and I am good. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. Okay. But uh, um, like uh, were they uh, good uh, according to to the to the Shia uh, uh, those uh, those uh, Sahaba like uh, friend, before the, Shia, the, the Shia, before the before the death of okay. the, the Prophet the Shia, Omar the, the, Shia, the, Shia, the Shia they proved to us that uh, the Quran is a fraud too you Shia you accuse Aisha she was a bad woman even she was a whore is that correct mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, I don't know, but she has some, she's very much hated. So, no, 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 no. Yeah. you can go right now and search in YouTube. You will see your scholars, they are talking about the hadith about Aisha. They call it Sahibatul Jirar al Khudr. I'm just copying how the Shia they talk. Yaqulu al Hadith Anna Aisha Qad Zayyana Jariyatan. وطافت بها لكي تصطاد شبابا من قريش. This is how the Shia they speak about Aisha. Do you agree? <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> Aisha, guys, she decorated. She decorated a slave girl so she can hunt young men from Quraysh. She want to sleep with them. This is what the Shia says. And by the way, this hadith is a Sunni hadith too. So, you agree and you said that the Shia says that Aisha, the wife of Muhammad, is a bad woman, right? Yes. Okay. But isn't it the Quran says the bad women, Allah will make them marry bad men? Uh, yes, uh, last time... Uh... You showed me that. So, yeah. yeah. So okay, that means that. that means Muhammad is a bad man. If Allah will make bad men marry bad women, good women marry good men, and Aisha and Hafsa and many of his wives, they are nothing but bad women. So how this verse would work? 
Let me see again. Okay. So again, by the way, the translation here is very false. Like here, translation says, "Bad women deserve bad men, and bad men are for bad women." <laughs> the fact doesn't say that. It says, <laughs> So Allah made a destiny that for the good women, good man, and for the good man, a uh, good woman. And for the bad man, bad women, and for the bad women, bad man. It's a destiny. So how Muhammad he didn't marry a bad woman? She was maybe uh, good uh, back then. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Well, if uh, there's nothing, it's called was, and uh, and uh, it became something else. Allah, He knew the future. But in Shia Islam, we we believe that. Uh, there is uh, something I called Qanun al Qanun al Bada that uh, that the uh, future uh, can be changed. Like uh, it is uh, it is not uh, written like like the no, Sunni. No, no, no. You know, you have you uh, have you heard about that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, no, uh, al Bada something. Yeah, something like that. Al uh, uh, Qadar, al Qadar. The name, the name. Of Al Qadr alone is enough to prove that you cannot change it. The the Qadr will change by Allah, not by you. Which means uh, you do something, and Allah wants something. And uh, what Allah wants is going to happen, not what you want. Okay, but um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Qanun al Bada. Uh, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, but it's still, this about is, it? it's still, still. The, 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 what is that then? Uh, what? Qanun al Bada. I think. You mean the Bada or al Bala? Means... What? Sorry? Uh, I'm trying to understand what you are saying. Al Bala or al Bada? Well, Bada. Bada. Al Bada. With uh, Dal, yes. Al Bada. Uh, I think you are saying it wrongly. Wait, Khan, uh, I, um, I will look for it. Wait. I think I, uh, I think I know you. I know what you are talking about. Hold on. Yeah, al 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 bada, the, the bada and the Shia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but this is not about what what uh, uh, what you are saying. Uh, al bada is the appearance. You see the Shia. The difference between the Shia and the Sunni. The Shia, they have something, it's called appearance and uh, the inside, the inner. Correct? What do you mean? Wait, I, I don't the, know what you mean. There is the appearance and there is uh, the the inner, the inside. Batan and Zahir, you mean? Yeah, Batan and Zahir. No, no, but uh, this, is, uh, this is something uh, different, uh, like Wait, there was a hadith in Al Kafi um, yeah. about uh, about the future that it could be changed. Uh, it is it is not uh, maktub like uh, like the yeah. It is something is not Sunni belief. Something is not written, and it can be changed. Al Bada, like Qanun Al Bada, Ma Bada. There was a hadith. I forgot it. Maybe I can uh, find it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I forgot the hadith. Actually, this is yeah. from Aqaid al Imamiyah. Are you uh, are you the twelve from the twelve? Are twelve, sir. Yes. From the twelve. Not from Ashariya, the twelve. Ashariya. Okay. Yes. Uh, now I, I know what I'm talking about. So, but, but yeah, uh, uh, but what you are talking about uh, that you do you start something and later you can change what you want to do, right? Yeah, like uh, it is, uh, it is uh, maktub, but yeah, it still uh, could be could be changed. Like it is, who is but it's not but who is a real destiny. It? Like who is the one will change it? Uh, me, uh, uh, depending on my uh, deeds, uh, not like that. Uh, that uh, God uh, created me with a. Okay, let me ask you. With a when, destiny. When, when, and then, when yeah. Hassan and when the children of Ali, they've been slaughtered, is that because they changed or because Allah destiny was for them to be killed? Um, 
Well, God uh, knew it because uh, the angels, I can't remember um, that they uh, um, uh, how do you say that in, uh, in English? Uh, uh, like, yeah, I don't know, wait, the word, like they uh, can you help me? <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. uh, على الله, uh, because uh, complain uh, to Allah, he, yeah. complain to Allah. They oh, they they been uh, uh, they rebel against Allah. Yes. Okay. Uh, because uh, uh, God uh, God will uh, God will uh, create uh, Adam, and then from Adam will uh, will uh, bad. Uh, that uh, people come and they will kill Al Hussein. Uh, yeah, so they so they knew it. That's what I know. Like okay. in the beginning, before I want, I want Adam's to, creation. Okay, I want you to go with me. They I, I want they you to uh, rebelled. So right. yeah, based on that, I'm now thinking. Um, no. Uh, I want to show you something how silly the Quran is. Chapter 6, verse 148. Check chapter 6, verse number 148. Allah is saying, The idolaters, those who worship idols, they say, If Allah, not if God, I mean, this translation is stupid. Let me try and change it. I don't know why he used the word God instead of Allah. Because Allah. Isn't is it the same? <laughs> no. Allah is a name. You cannot say you place it with the word God in translation. So those uh, who, who, those okay. who take partner with Allah will say if Allah had wished. Because if you say if God, we do not know what God is talking about, right? And this is not what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying Lo Sha Allah. So they name the God, correct? You know what I mean? Lo Sha Allah. Yeah. If so, he, so if he as wants, long, as long as long it says Lo Sha Allah, we cannot replace the word Sha Allah with if Allah if if, if God want. You have to give the name because they named him here. It's Allah. It's not the word God. So look, the Quran is saying, as you just said, that you can change, right? You can change. But here Allah is refuting them and he agree. He agree with you somehow. Look what he says. Those who give partner with Allah, they will say, if Allah had wished, we should not have given partners to him nor would our fathers so they are saying well this is our destiny correct if Allah willed do you agree they are saying not Allah Allah is saying to them no no this is your destiny this is you 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 choose that here he says they are saying, if Allah willed, we will not take partners, which means we are doing this because this is Allah will, obviously. Because if Allah willed, we will not take any partner with him. And he said, so did their ancestor argue falsely? Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Do you understand, Hassan? So you say to me why you are associating somebody with Allah I say to you well if Allah want me not to associate with him he can uh, he can make me not to do that but obviously Allah like me to do that he because he don't uh, oppose me you know so it's it's, it's Allah will so Allah here he says so they did their ancestors they have the same lie and they argue falsely. So Allah disagree with the statement that if Allah want, if Allah will, then we will not worship another one beside him. So obviously this is Allah will, therefore we will do it. But look how silly the Quran. If we go to a verse, another verse, you will see the following. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I will show you verses after verses. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me change the translator. Anyway, all those verse, it says it clearly that if Allah will, we will not worship someone beside Allah. 
so they say like uh, God uh, uh, wrote uh, wrote this uh, destiny. Of yeah, us, they are saying that. that uh, they are saying that, but Allah He don't agree with them. Allah saying to them, "Well, this is the, your false argument. This is your false argument." But then, if we go to different verses in the Quran, we will find Allah saying <laughs> that this is His will. You see, I'm not using hadith because if I use hadith, you might say to me, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, like uh, I'm Shia, I don't agree with the hadith of the Sunni. Uh, I want the Shia hadith. Yeah, no, no, I'm not going to show you. Shia. Say, I'm like, not going to show you hadith. I'm uh, going to show you Quran, which is more, more better. Chapter six, chapter six, verse number one forty-nine. It says, Allah says. Uh, Verse number 148, it says, The idolater says, If God had so willed, we would not have associated other with him. But this is their fa a false, fa this is a fabrication argument. But the verse after it, it says, Allah said to them, Say, To God belong all the consumment. Argument. Had he will, he would surely have guided you, all of you, or uh, aright. Let me change the translator again. It's coming back to his translator. This guy is an idiot. I think he's using Google translation. Uh, can I see the Arabic also? Sure. Right. Okay. Let me read it again in English. So, uh, with Allah is the argument that reaches home. If it had been his will, he could indeed have guided you all. Do you see it? So how in the verse before it he said they said if Allah will we will not be misguided and then the verse after it right away he says if Allah say to them if Allah wanted he will make you all guided so this is his will okay. لهداكم أجمعين. Correct. Yeah. Okay. لشاء like yeah. Okay. فلو شاء لهداكم أجمعين. Can I see the tafsir of this ayah? Yeah, you can. But I mean, this is this is very easy. I mean, if Allah wants, He will guide you all. Even this one need the tafsir. If Allah. No, I'm just curious. They say like. It's the same. You may never. Yeah, uh, it's the same. If Allah uh, wants, He will guide you. All. Okay. So if Allah wants, if Allah wants, He will guide you all. Which means what? If Allah wants, will guide you all. It means Allah don't want to guide you all. Isn't it obvious? Yeah, I agree. Okay. There are uh, many go, uh, verses. Okay. Uh, one says, if we go uh, different verse in the Quran. Um, فزادهم الله مرضا. Thank you. Yeah. He, he, he increased the disease in the hearts and right. Um, let me think. Chapter six, verse one seventeen. Once one one seventeen. It says, huh. "Your Lord, who knows who know, he is, he knows who is going to go astray, and who is going to be in guidance." Is that correct. What is that? It says. Yeah. Your Lord knows who is going to go astray. Actually, the translation is false. You drill, it's meant to deceive. Who is going to be deceived and who is the one to be guided? Inna rabbuka huwa a'lamu man yudul an sabirihi wa huwa a'lamu bil-muhtadeen. So, it is Allah who knows who is going to be deceived and the one who will be guided. Okay, you said to me that you can change. And in order to say you can change your destiny, then you should not, nobody should know, because it's still it's a free will have to do with you only. Because you can change it anytime. But still, uh, God knows uh, everything, okay. including if you, if you, the if future, you knew, right? If you knew uh -huh. everything, if you knew everything, that's mean he knew what you would do. And that's mean he, you, you know, it's, it is there already. You change nothing. You think you change, uh, but the fact you did not change anything. Okay. You change nothing. God knows everything. So yeah. No. Okay. Hold on. Uh, 
chapter 13 verse number 27 it says ويقول الذين كفروا لولا أنزل الله عليه آية من ربه قل إن الله يضل من يشاء ويهدي إليه من أنا look at this joke then believer says why not why is not a sign sent down from his Lord I mean this is a very normal question right you claim to be a prophet and we have the right to ask you if you are a prophet how come you don't have any miracles Allah he answer and look how funny the answer says Allah he deceive whoever he want and he guide whoever he want what kind of God he is the Muslim they falsely they translate the word deceive by saying he leave to astray whom he will how he can leave him astray the word in Arabic you dull you dull mean you deceive so Allah will lead you astray by deceiving you and he will do that whoever you he will and he will guide whoever he will okay so you are saying to me I can change but Allah is the one who deceive he want who he want and he guide who he want so in order to be changed to go to heaven or to go to earth do you have the freedom based on this verse uh, Hassan because the change you would do either will uh, take you to heaven let's, wait, let me think uh, um, Can I see the Arabic again? It was, I think, more. Yeah, this is chapter clear. thirteen, chapter thirteen, yeah. verse number twenty-seven. <clears throat> Let me read it for you for fast reading. ويقول الذين كفروا لولا أنزل الله عليه من آية من ربه قل إن الله يضل من يشاء ويهدي إليه من أنا. Okay, <laughs> that's madness. So, all what they said to you as a Shia that you can change is a fabrication because in order to change. In order to change, you have to delete this verse, and there's many other verses. Here it says, "It is Allah who de 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 deceive whoever He want, and Allah He guide whoever He want." So, in order for you to change, to change destiny for bad or good, like to go to hell or to go to heaven, then you have to have a freedom. But here it says clearly that it is Him who guide, no one else, and He is the one who misguide, no one else. Do we agree? Mm, yes. Okay. okay. So in order, to be, in order, let's say, let us say you are you are a person who uh, uh, is doing bad deeds, and you want to change that. Based on this verse, in order to be guided, it's Allah. He have to have the will to guide you, because He is the one who will guide you, not you by yourself. You will be guided, so you don't have a free will. We go to the different hadith. Actually, uh, verse. There's tons of them. Read this one with me. If Allah so willed, He could make you all one people. But He leaves deceiving. You see the word here, strain. It's a false. But stray, it's the same as deceive. I think it close. Wait, wait. Uh, if Allah so willed. <laughs> straying, yeah. straying. Mm. So what do you see here? If Allah want, He will make us all of us Muslims, correct? Or all of us mm -hmm. Christians, all of us, all of us Hindus, or all of us Kufar. But Allah, He don't want us to be all of us one. It is the will of Allah. He is the one. Who decide who is going to be believer and who is the one to be in this believer? So, what's the point of this religion? Why I will go to hell if he is the one who decides I will not believe? He leaves straying whom he pleases and he guides whom he pleases. And again, this is a false translation. The word yudil have nothing to do with strain. The word yudil is about deceiving. He deceive whoever he will and he guide whoever he will so he if you want he will make you all one nation but obviously this is not what he want so what he want he deceive as well oh, yeah, but uh, uh, means uh, uh, 
read uh, read astray it is uh, correct like no no you tell yeah you tell no my friend, mm-hmm. no, my friend. You dil, you dil, it, it can be used in many ways and let us give an example you you tariq he lost his way correct mm-hmm. if, you mean if somebody he lost his way we can use dalla tariqahu he lost his way which means direction he got wrong direction correct but if somebody yes. doing that to you here is deceiving because he is causing you to take wrong direction do we agree mm. okay you want to go in the highway to go to washington dc and you ask me where to go from i give you a different highway in purpose to deceive you so you can go to will go to different city is that a deceiving or this is just I went astray. You can say it is uh, deceiving. Okay, it is deceiving. Yeah, it is, so it is I am he, leading he, you astray. Yeah, uh, both all them. Yeah, but yeah. No, he leaves Correct. you astray, which means maybe, maybe you yourself, you didn't, you know, like, okay, he 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 did not reach out to you to guide you. No, this is not the case. It says in Arabic, you drill. It's an act he did. Uh, to make you astray not something happened you are astray and he let you there you know it's like i'm walking in the in the beach i saw somebody is drowning and i did not give him arms so he died this is not what it says he lead you to your death by deceiving you all right so allah here showing us again uh, uh, how stupid this religion is because if allah he is the one who guide who he want misguide who he wants so why I will go to hell or, or I will go to heaven what is what I did nothing chapter 16 verse number 37 read this one this one is even more horrible I will show it to you in Arabic first and we'll show it to people in English into Harid what the heck if you wait, try wait. Uh, I don't see this uh, wait, wait. okay um this one uh, it's when, uh, it's when this is chapter 16 verse number 37 37 okay so if you if you if you uh, if you anchor uh, 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 like uh, if you if you try your best to guide them uh, don't waste your time allah will guide not the one who he deceived and those who he deceived nobody can help them <laughs> and this is the Muslim translation. Do you see it? Um, so, so how that can be possible? Don't try to guide them because Allah must guide them, and those who Allah must guide them, nobody can guide them. As simple as that. We can change the translation, you know, so we can love better. Even though, O oh, you Muhammad, translation of Bikhtal, desired, desires their right guidance, still Allah assuredly will not guide him who he who misleads. Allah will not guide who he misleads. Who is the one who misleads the guy? Allah. <laughs> you are laughing. <laughs> So what's happening now? So, uh, I don't know, man. It's so what yeah, kind okay. of version this version is? What do they uh, say then? That yeah, I don't know. They say in uh, in Shia that yeah, I thought uh, that was indeed uh, stupid uh, to think that. Mm -hmm. uh, it is literally written. So they told me. Uh, in Shia, uh, that's not the case. So, yeah. yeah well, this is the Quran. I mean, they can't okay. even. This is Quran. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they can't play so and, and games like... with it, you know, obviously, but they are playing games. They are, you know, and uh, most of the people, they, they don't need, they don't study carefully. All right. And, uh, you know, uh, a book full of contradiction. All of it is in contradiction. And the same can be found all over, like chapter 3, 30, uh, 35, verse number 8. It's Allah who guide he who he will, and he misguide who he will, deceive who he will. Hmm? Which one again? Uh, this uh, thirty-five. This is why my book is called Deception of Allah. Go get my book. 
Thirty-five. For Allah, He deceive not astray, whom He wills, and He guide whom He He wills. That's it. It's His will to be deceived mm -hmm. or to be guided. Okay. And the Quran is full of this. All the Quran is like that. What kind of book this book is? Mm. And uh, imagine in the Quran in chapter 2 verse number 2 uh, two six, Allah will give you a parable and then this parable will guide many and we must guide many what is that how, how stupid that is I will tell you a story and this story will misguide many and will guide many <laughs> do you see it Hey guys, I have a story for you, and if I tell this story, many of you will go astray, and many of you will be guided. So, what the point? Let's look at the Arabic here. In the Arabic this is uh, surah which uh, I can uh, chapter two, uh, chapter look two at my number, computer. Chapter, chapter two, two? Verse number twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay. In Allah, I yes, he and you drop a method about my bow, Oda for my folk, her family, Ladina, Amanu, Fair, the one and the Hawk, Marabim, Amadina, Kafaro, Fire, Puruna, Mada, or other law, be at the mother, you do be he Kathir, why you be Kathira? Oh, my, you do be he ill fasikin. But the verse before it says that the one who Allah was guided is misguided by Allah, and now he's saying the one is misguided is the bad one. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, uh, who is the one? Who is the one who follows Shaitan? Hassan. What? Uh, who is the one who follows Shaitan? Who is the one who follows Shaitan? Uh, by uh, according to uh, Islam, uh, anyone that is bad. Bad. Like, okay. Chapter uh, seven, verse one seventy. Evil. Yeah, <clears throat> evil bad people. They follow Shaitan only. Chapter 7, 175 says the same. Chapter 15, 42. Uh, in, you know, uh, chapter 26, uh, even chapter 26, verse 24, it says that the poetry man, the one who followed him, is only the criminals. If you are a poet man and people like you, those who like you, you are a, they are a criminal. All right? But now, as you see, the poet people uh, is those who do evil, they follow them. All right? The one who is bad who follow them but look in the quran says chapter 15 verse number 14 42 that from my servant no authority shall thou have except such as put themselves in the wrong and follow thee actually the translation is as bad as such as the criminals al -ghawin. so allah saying to the shaitan no one from my followers can follow you except the criminals so how None of my followers can follow you? Yeah, except except the bad ones. Only bad ones will follow Shaitan. Shaitan have no authority over the good ones. Correct? So how Shia and Sunni, they say Shaitan deceived me. Did you hear the question, Hassan? Yeah. How you Shia, you say Shaitan deceived me. If shaitan cannot deceive unless you are a bad person, you are a criminal. Not only a bad, you have to be a criminal. Al -ghawin. What a stupid religion. So you say to them, shaitan have no authority except over the criminals. Okay, so how shaitan, he was able to convince Adam to commit sin? Adam was a criminal? They say... Uh... Uh, in Shia, uh, in Shia Islam, that uh, Adam, uh, uh, by Iblis, uh, Iblis, uh, Iblis, uh, swear by, uh, swear by Allah. So doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't matter. Adam whatever, whatever, thought that my friend, whatever uh, Shaitan he did, whatever no Shaitan, one would 
No, no, Hassan. Uh, whatever we Shaitan, swear by Allah and lie about yeah, that. Whatever thing, yeah. the stories they told you about Shaitan, he did. As long as the Quran, and this is before, <clears throat> before, he even kicked him out from heaven. Uh, uh, he says, Allah, that you have no authority over my servant except the one who follow thee. In order to practice this, that means Adam, he follow thee. Hmm. No matter how he convinced him, he swear, he played jumbo mambo, that will not change the, the he follow the advice of shaitan. That's mean Adam himself was a criminal. Right? <laughs> what about Muhammad? Yeah, okay. What I about, find it so what about, strange, like what about, he's a prophet. Okay. What yeah, about okay. Muhammad? Uh, was Muhammad a sinner, a sinner according to uh, to uh, to Islam, to Shia, or no? To Shia, no, absolutely yeah, not. Because, but because to the Shia, Sunni, he was no. Because the Shia, they are not being uh, the Shia scholars. They are not being decent, and they are not being truthful. This is the Quran, chapter forty-eight, verse number two. Translation is for same fault in Arabic. It says them baka. You know what them mean, right? What them mean? Zamp, uh, sin. Uh, sin. Okay. Does it say that? No, no, no. Uh, it says sin. Uh, which surah was it? Forty-eight, okay. verse number two. Okay, let me read it. Liyakfir alak Allahu ma taqdama min zambika ma. Stop. Yes, okay. Um, so, she, to who, uh, so is he this is a Muhammad. Here? This is to Muhammad. This is speaking to Muhammad. This is a chapter of Al Fatah. All of it is about Muhammad. So, here we have given thee Muhammad a signal of victory, a signal of signal victory. Okay, that Allah may forgive the <laughs> sin that which in the past and wished in to come. If the Quran just said that shaitan have no authority over anyone to make him do what? If shaitan have authority, what he would do? He would make you commit sin, correct? Do I agree? I don't know, man. Yeah. Hmm. So Allah says, you cannot make my followers do sin unless they follow thee. And they are criminals. So how Muhammad, he commit the sin? And not only sin, sin in the past and sin in the future. The Muslims, they have many fabrications saying that the Christians, they used to give a paper, like the Pope, he give a paper to forgive sin if you pay him money. The fact the Quran is the one who's doing that. Mm -hmm. Your past and your coming sin, open license for sin. But when does he forgive your sin? Uh, doesn't say it right. But, uh, it says, my friend, it says, forgive your past and your coming sin. And by the way, here, uh, there is something very wrong in the verse. And you speak Arabic, you know Arabic. Do you see here it says, لِيَغْفُرْ لَكَ اللَّهُ yes. Translation, that me Allah, that <coughs> Allah may forgive thee. How Allah, he say, may forgive thee? Me? What does that mean? If Allah is the one who will forgive him, and Allah is the one who talk is talking, so how Allah he say me? Allah will forgive you. I am the one who is talking. And why he saying me? Here you notice that the one who wrote those verses he forget to switch, speaking about Allah. From speaking about himself if Allah is speaking here he should not say that Allah may forgive thee you are Allah you mean Allah is here speaking so why he, uh. okay Allah is speaking why he would say me Allah <laughs> and what do you mean may you are Allah you forgive him or not okay um... Okay, okay, I 
I get it. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know actually. So Hassan, what you want to stay a Muslim, man? After all this madness, you still a Muslim? Stay, stay a Muslim, and may Allah forgive you. <laughs> may, may Allah. <laughs> Allah he is not sure he forgive to Muhammad or not me and me in the past and the coming to, to and, the, and, the, and the sin to come I mean look at this as long you are saying the sin to come should not be me because obviously you are you, you are saying you you forgive him so what do you mean what does uh, uh, mean uh, means here, yeah, for like maybe in the future, Lee, like they lead you know, like something will happen in the future, so maybe okay. Allah will forgive you. In the uh, this way, in the translation, is the meet Allah, may Allah forgive thee. Okay, hmm. what is that? Okay, you know what, Hassan, forget about all of this. Uh, still, you are not leaving Islam today until now. I can't tell you are not, you are hesitating. I want you to help me to keep you as a Muslim. I want you to help me to keep you today as a Muslim. Give me something, make you stay as a Muslim still. Um, okay, let me think. Um, I don't know where they say, like, uh, they, they have. Um, Many uh, 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 hadith uh, about uh, uh, wisdoms and like yeah, this all fabrication stories. Speech. After what you know, all those stories written long after Muhammad. And uh, Hikayat, after, for example, Qala, yeah, this is, this is Qala, yeah. Qala Ali, uh, for example, Hunak, uh, Hunak, and Amatan, Majhulatan, Asahatu, and Aman. For example, so yeah, I don't know. And they say there's a book called Nahj al Balagha. All right. For Ali, uh, he has a he has a sermon um, without uh, dots. Okay, but right. I don't think that's really. Um, I don't know, man. But they say they say like uh, 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 Ali was the most. Uh, Rightful person, but yeah. All right. Well, let us see oh, some uh, some of the wisdom of the the, the people of Ahlul Bayt. All right. Okay. Uh, That's what they say. Yeah. What about watermelon? Watermelon? Yeah. What do you mean? Is watermelon is uh, is watermelon a Shia or Sunni? <laughs> what? Yeah. What? What are you are laughing? <laughs> what happened? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you? I'm asking you. You should answer me. Is watermelon Shia or Sunni? <laughs> Guys, according to the Shia, watermelon, if she is a sweet, she is a Shia. And she is from the the one who love Ali and the family of the Prophet. If she is not the watermelon, she is Sunni. What do you say? <laughs> okay. Let us read. Wasailu Shia. Do you see the screen? You see the screen? Hassan, wait, wait. Oh, like, are you joking or what? No, no, I'm not joking. I will show you many examples. Al Hurru al Amili, variant number 25, page number 178. It says, An Jeddihi, An Amir al Mu'minin, Alayhi Salam, Akhada Batriha, Lia Kuruha, Fawajadaha Murra, Farama Biha, Wakal, Burdan was Sukha. إلى أن قال فقير له يا أمير المؤمنين ما هذه البطيخة قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الله أخذ أقدم مودتنا على كل حيوان ونبات ونبت فما 
او قبل الميثاق كان عذبا طيبا وما لم يقبل الميثاق كان ملحا زائقا so let us translate the uh, Ali he took a batikha a watermelon and he wanted to uh, to uh, to eat it actually let us, let us click a google translation and then when he, he started eating it he found that it is sore it's, the taste is so bad so he throw it away and he cursed it and they said to him uh, oh uh, the, the 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 leader of the believers uh, Amir, Amir al what's wrong what's up with this uh, watermelon you know uh, he said that the Prophet of Allah he said that Allah he took a contract of our faith with me Shia faith on every animal uh, grow up before the, the, the whatever and every every planet actually here that uh, translation is wrong and every planet animal and, and planet so Allah he made a contract that all the animals and all the plants uh, who are going to follow Ali the, the good ones Ali and his family they will be sweet and good taste and those who they are not they will be salty and they will taste bad do you see it uh, Hassan yeah I see it. and this is an agreement between Allah and all the animals and the plants and this watermelon she is not not Shia this is why he throw it away she, it's not sweet hmm. So this is the wisdom they told you about the Shia? What? <laughs> okay, I think you had enough. Uh, enough. Are you going to stay Shia or what? Did, did we have enough for today? You never heard of this. What do you mean you never heard? Okay. What about well, if you? What about if you look at the, <clears throat> if you look at the anus of a woman during during uh, uh, you, like you you are having sex with your wife, and if you look at her anus, what will happen to you? You will go. You know your son uh, uh, is going to be blind, and he will be mute and deaf just by looking at your wife <laughs> bum when you are having sex. Same as if you are talking, all right. If you talk during sex, Allah will make you mute. Allah will make sorry your son mute, and this is explained why some kids are mute because simply you obviously you were talking during the time uh, you are having sex. Let us read together. Al book al kafi, and this is your best book. You told me before this is the best book you like, right? Al kafi. Al kafi. Okay. Yes. Volume number five. Page number four nine eight. All right, it says, uh, let us go down. All right, what is the most time is hated uh, to have sex in, even if it is lawful, which means with your wife? He says, between the sunrise and the sun raised which means like the sun is rising and the sun already is in the in the in the sky that time is forbidden it's haram and bet and between the sunset until the last light of the sun is 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 gone it's haram it's bad and then and in the day where the sun have an eclipse and the uh, the moon have an eclipse and in the night uh, where there is a uh, like a cold uh, air uh, uh, sorry, dark, dark wind. Like you know, the, I think this is from the sand, sand storm, and uh, red, red wind, red uh, wind, and uh, uh, yellow wind, which is uh, presenting a dusty storm, cold, hot. In those days, you can, you should not have sex. And then he says, uh, "All right, let us see." Uh -huh. Okay, in the top, it says, "Ittaqu al-kalam inda multaqa al-khitanain, fa innahu yurithu al-kharas." Do you see it? Uh, yes, I see. It. Okay, uh, uh, avoid talking during sexual intercourse because that will make your kids deaf and mute. Wait, wait. Multaqa. Uh, what does that mean? Which means women is circumcised in Islam, a man is circumcised. So when the two circumcision met, 
you don't talk. Multaka, okay, yes, multaka is meeting, okay. Yeah. But if you talk, <coughs> if you talk, you inherit your child to be mute. So the reason for this is this is the wisdom of the Ahlul Bayt. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is a lot of wisdom. So this is what we keeping you as a Muslim, the wisdom of Ahlul Bayt. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's a lot of wisdom man I mean uh, that's that's uh, that's really good hmm? uh, but uh, they say like there are thousands of those okay what about uh, Muslims what, what I don't about, know okay. you, you believe قال, you believe in قال 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 okay. uh, do you, you believe in Al Mahdi right <clears throat> yes okay well, yeah, I don't know, uh, but it is it is in uh, in uh, Shia Islam. There, yeah, it is of the main belief. But... Yeah, but I know. But I mean, the Mahdi, is it true that his fart is like perfume? <coughs> what? What do you mean, what? <laughs> is it true that his fart is like a perfume? <laughs> Why are you are laughing? Hold yourself. This is your religion. Come on, show, show respect, man. <laughs> this is Bihar al Anwar Al Alam al Majlisi, value number 25, page number 168. All right, the description about Al Mahdi what Al Mahdi, what he will be. He says that the Imam Ashru Alama, there is two signs of Al Mahdi. First one, his penis will be circumcised when he was born. So his penis is already circumcised by Allah. And if he fail down in the ground, he will fail in his butt. In his butt, not in his any side, no, in his butt. Always he fell down in the butt. Like you throw him in the air, he go down in his butt. And when he fell in his butt, right away he say a shahada, a shahadatain. Right away, you, he fell in his butt. He said, no, 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 Ali, Ali, blah, blah, blah. okay. And then, and he never have, or he will never have get dirty from orgasm, which means his orgasm is always pure. And his eyes never sleep. And his, uh, 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 sorry, his eyes sleep, but his heart never sleep. And he never do yawning. And he never ex, uh, scratch, like what, uh, like, Stretch, stretch his arms like you know. He never do that like oh, like you know tired like no. And then he can see what is in the front and what is behind him in the same time. And and uh, uh, and and the, and the his uh, 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 like his his uh, the defect is like the musk and the earth and the earth always right away swallow it and make it disappear. <laughs> What do you say? <laughs> Let us click on the translation. <laughs> so we can translate the page in English, but I, I know like a Google translation would not really be too much good, but uh, better than nothing. So there is 10 signs of Al Mahdi, as you see here. And uh, his eyes, uh, okay, Abu Jafar, etc. For the 10 signs, he is born with sealed the cleanser <laughs> see the cleanser is circumcised and if he fall in the ground he fall in his his butt not his feet and uh, when he uh, and he will raise his voice saying the shahada he does not uh, his eyes sleep but his heart never sleep uh, uh, he never do yawning and he never stretch his body and uh, what else and then and translation is really <laughs> so what do you say my friend about uh, the wisdom of the Ahlul Bayt I mean this is too much wisdom and you are proud about it so this is what making you stay as a Muslim <sighs> hmm? I don't know what to say man hmm. what you will stay a Muslim or not I don't know Like, yeah, uh, I've never. This is yeah. This is the first time you. Yeah, I mean, 
Okay, do you watch the first? Do you watch the first? Uh, was was Al Shia the first book you said? We are quoting from many. The last one it was uh, from Al <coughs> I think. Uh, have you ever? Did you watch like those magicians who do things like you know make uh, something come from your nose, etc.? Magicians. Mm, yeah, did you watch I have uh, watched uh, sometimes, okay. like on. This is your favorite book, Usul al Kafi. Sharh Usul al Kafi. Oh, it's not my favorite book. <laughs> well, about al Kafi, this is explanation for al Kafi. This exists in the Kafi, but this is explanation <laughs> for it. It says, okay. uh, uh, Prophet of Allah, he pray, and when he pray, from his nose came. Uh, from his right side, uh, left side of his nose, a bird which is yellow, and it is from the kind of the luctus, and he was bigger than a fly. And this fly go and walk under the throne of Allah, asking Allah for forgiveness. <coughs> what? This is a bird coming from. The nose of your prophet Muhammad and his was yellow. He was a bird, but yet he is smaller than the loctos and bigger than the fly. And he walk under the throne of Allah, asking Allah for forgiveness until the judgment day. They asked your prophet, actually, no, not, not your prophet here. Kuntu Ujarisu Aba Abdullah alayhi salam. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, a guy he was sitting with Imam Abdullah and he said to him where the sneezing come from He said the nose He said You are right I mean you see the wisdom <laughs> The sneezing <laughs> where the sneezing came from from the nose you are right the, here they are quoting you the, the amazing miracles of those guys i mean the guy he is telling us that the, the the sneeze come from the nose i mean all right uh and then he says uh, where is the sperm is coming from he says from all the body not only from the penis and then this is what <coughs> and he says Testicles, you mean? And, they, and then he says no all the body jamil or better he says, don't you see when a human he sneeze, all his limp move? And if somebody he sneezes once, he will not die for the coming seven days. So he's trying to prove to you that the connection between your sperm and your sneezing. So why you when you why you sneeze, all your body move. And he is saying he's connecting between where the uh, let me translate this to English so people they can read. I mean, so what do you think? We still Muslims? I don't know what to say to you. <clears throat> this is uh, I asked you why you are staying Muslim until now. You said uh, they have wisdom. Okay, we are reading the wisdom. You want more wisdom? I can give you from now until next year a lot of wisdom. Do you really want more wisdom or we are done? Well, I don't know what what you want. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. How many uh, Allah he have two cities in this earth? Is that correct? Or you do not know about this one? Two cities on the earth. Two cities in this earth. One in the east and one in the west. Mm, no, I don't know. This is we will go to the book you like, Al Kilani, Al, -Al Kafi. Guys, Al Kafi is the same as Al Bukhari for the, for for the Sunni. Is the same for the Shia. So Al Kafi is the same as you are reading from Al Bukhari for the Shia. It is not uh, entirely the same, but close, as I no, no, know. I mean, but same as, uh, because, as, value, uh, as value. I'm not uh, saying it's the same book. I'm saying it's a, as a value. The, the Sunni consider Al-Bukhari the most accurate. The Shia consider Al-Kafi the most uh, uh, to be trusted. Uh, yes, okay, that's true. Yeah. And then let us see here. Let us see if we can find this hadith. Hold on.
Okay. وَإِنَّ لَلَّهِ مَدِينَتَيْنِ إِحْدَاهُمَا بِالْمَشْرِقِ وَالْأُخْرَى بِالْمَغْرِبِ Allah, he have two cities. One in the east and one in the west. Around them, there is a fence from iron. And in every one city, there is a, a thousand thousand door and every city have 70,000 thousand language and all speak the languages the, uh, 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 with the, uh, like uh, everybody in the everybody inside the city he speak different language from the other person and he said and I know all the languages there what do you say Wait, wait. Uh, again, uh, there are two. This is the Hassan. Cities Hassan on this, Salam, on this Hassan. earth, two cities. Okay. One in the west, one in the east, and then uh, there is there is a there is a fence made from iron, and every uh, city have a thousand thousand door, and every uh, city have a seventy thousand thousand language, and every one of them and every individual there he speak language different from the other person and he said al hassan and ana wa ana a'rifu jami'a al lughat wa ma fihuma wa ma baynahuma and i know all the languages for those two cities and even what is between them <laughs> so what do you think about this uh, uh, wisdom do you really believe al hassan al, al hassan he knows all the languages of those cities which is a thousand thousand language 70,000 thousand language not here like translation What do you think? Mm. But there's two cities where is that like meant one city on the earth east, or one city, yeah, in the earth, but we nobody knows where <coughs> uh, you know yeah, fabrication stupidity because speaking to naive people at that it, time and people they it only know. says uh, it only says two cities uh, God, no, Allah has two cities. Allah has two cities. One of them in the Mashriq, which means in the east, and the other one in the west, not Morocco. This is stupid translation. Yeah, yeah, Maghreb, yeah. Maghreb. in the west. They have right. a, a, a wall made of iron, and each of them has a, a thousand thousand door. And every one of them have 70,000 thousand languages, not thousand languages. I know all the languages in it, and what is between those two cities? So the whole language of the words, Al Hussein, Al Hassan, he know it. What do you say? Mm, yeah, this uh, this one uh, reminds me of uh, another. Like someone uh, asked uh, Imam Al Hussein, uh, how many uh, how many uh, hair do I uh, do I have? Then he, yeah. I can I can answer your question easy. This is easy. Ask, ask me the question. How many here you have? I will. He knew. I know. He knew like how many. The no, Imam I know. I know. Said, I yeah, I know. Too. Tell me. Ask me the same <laughs> question. Okay. You have four billion here. Prove me wrong. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> how many here I have? I mean, those stories obviously is nothing but fabrication. I mean, I feel sorry for the Shia, you know, I mean, they are naive people deceived and they believe that this is always true. I mean, isn't it? All right? <clears throat> this is really crazy. Well, I don't know. And like there is a sheikh, uh, they say uh, he is so knowledgeable, you know, uh, he has okay, listen. Uh, he has read all the Shia books and he can he can uh, uh, debate everyone, you know, but who? Uh, who is that? But he doesn't uh, do that because yeah, he says you know. Uh, Let him know. come and debate me. What about what about your prophet? Our, our, your prophet, he put his tongue inside the mouth of Hassan. Al, -Hus Al Hussein, sorry. He it? told me about that last time. Yes, mm. like he he fed him with the yeah, okay. Yeah, this is Al Kafi. No, not last time. I told you about his finger. Last time. The Prophet he put his finger in the tongue of Al Hussein, and each time he suck his finger, Al Hussein do not need food for three days. 
This <coughs> one in the book of Abraham, Abraham right? There's uh, thumb or yeah, uh, it's but yeah, Abraham, it's his finger. Or... It doesn't matter, a finger. And then yes, and, but here the prophet he put his tongue inside the mouth of Al Hussein and he sucked it. He sucked the tongue of Al Hussein and he cut from it. Which means he like uh, uh, the the uh, Al Hussein. I think what they mean by here it's like the Hussein is uh, is fitted by the tongue of the Prophet, but just by sucking each, uh, each other tongues. Al Hussein he got his food. What do you think? What is that? What is that? This is in Al Kafi. This is Al Kafi. Um, I think in very number one. Let me let me try to find it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Praise to the internet, then. Yeah, we can find everything so easily. Huh? Yeah, well, internet for sure. If you want to find this, uh, if you want to find this in books, it's going to take forever to open pages and flip. Yeah. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't have them actually. Uh, Al Kafi is uh, six volumes that I know, and Bihar Al uh, Bihar Al Anwar is. Hundred or so, yeah, very big. Uh, yeah, let us see where it says that. Okay, here we go. Can I use the Bill Hussein for you? Look, come over the Sana who for your muscle who for yes, does it be he? ولم يرتضع من أنثى. Reference 38. Let's click at 38. Uh, 38 is. راجع الكافي. You see the reference. الكافي. Page number 387. The book of الكافي. Page number 387. And the book mm. of المناقب لابن الشهر. أشوب. Very number 4. Page number 50. And Al Bihar, variant number 43, page number 245, Tafsir uh, Nur Thakalain, page number 5, uh, sorry, variant number 5, page number 12, what Tafsir Al Burhan, the one you like, huh? page number 4, mm. uh, page number 173. It's not uh, that I uh, like it, but. I mean, uh, they uh, have, uh, okay, this, they I have mean, taught me like this, this is, is all, uh, so all, I think all the great books I, of the Shia. I use them, you know. Yeah, but, so, but me, yeah, this I, mean all the I great books know, of the yeah. Shia approve this story. Mm -hmm, yes, the prophet, okay. he sucked the tongue of Al Hussein. Mm. What is that? Anyway, my friend, uh, I can't keep you for long. Thank you for calling, and maybe, uh, maybe next time you will decide to leave Islam. I will leave it for you. I cannot push you harder, you know. It's up to you. You want to leave? You want to stay? It's up to you. Yeah. So what? You want to stay? You think you are staying for tonight, a Muslim? <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel sad. Like what? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's I mean, not you, right. You but I don't know say, what. Say, uh, say what? I mean, uh, be honest with yourself. Is that something really you believe in? No. Okay. So what? Are you going to say I'm out of Islam today? <laughs> Are you afraid to say it? I mean, everything you show, yeah, it is, it is uh, uh, true, yeah. Okay, so if I am saying the truth, it means Islam is false religion. So why you then say Islam is false? I am out. I, uh, I don't know, man. I, uh, I just told you how many hair you I have. I feel sad. <laughs> don't feel sad it's okay i mean every all of us we go through through things in our life and uh, uh, a better uh, uh, you know uh, fix it than sorry forever now you can fix it just yeah, okay but denounce yeah. Islam. say i'm out of this cult okay but yeah uh, what then? 
Okay, yeah, but in this you case, say, like, I want to hear. There's this, not a wanna, single religion okay, of, before, which I'm really convinced. We talk about I don't next, know. No, before you talk about next, uh, uh, did, you, <coughs> did you did you denounce Islam? Did you leave Islam? I don't know, man. I'm I'm scared of hell. Like everything you show, it is it is true. I can't uh, deny it. You yeah. Show it with uh, references and one of them is lying. Either Muhammad or me. So which one we do? I showed you everything from their books. No, you are not lying. You are not lying. Okay, so Muhammad is lying. So why you don't say Muhammad is lying? I am out of Islam. I'm really. I don't know, man. I'm so scared. They say if you if you leave Islam and then then what? Like, you will not get the seventy thousand version, seventy version. <laughs> oh, like no version. I wish I for you. Torment, for me, punishment. Hassan. They say, yeah. There's no version are waiting for us. Neither me, neither you. It's a lie. Come on, say it. Be brave. Let me think. Are we out of Islam? I can tell you are out of Islam. Why you don't say it? I can tell. You just told me you are saying the truth. I'm scared of hell. What hell? Hell. This is hell. Islam is hell. Obviously, it's a lie. You just said I am telling the truth. Obviously, there's the hell of Islam is a lie. So, if you are scared from the hell of Islam, the hell of Islam doesn't exist. Islam itself is the hell. If you stay there. Because you just agreed that this is a lie. What they are teaching, it can't be true. Okay, yeah, you show from a card. But you said that, yeah, I don't know, the, those uh, wisdoms you like, the real wisdoms, you said that uh, uh, they came uh, many, many years after. Najil Balaga and such you know, books. It doesn't matter if they, are, if they are said, if yeah. they are said by the leader of the Shia or they are fabrication. At the end of the day, you are believing in a false religion. Because if the God of Islam, he wants you to, to believe in those stories, why he allowed even those things to happen. Remember, we showed you the Quran saying that if Allah wants somebody to go astray, nobody can guide him, and nobody will go astray unless Allah wants him to go astray. So why Allah want you to go astray and follow the Shia or Sunni? Allah is a devil. So, are we out of Islam? Uh, okay, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, you're out of Islam? Uh, I think... So you are out of Islam. I mean, I don't believe in those things that you showed. So okay, so you are out of Islam. I'm so happy for you, uh, Hassan. That's a beautiful. You called me many times already, and now today you call me as a Muslim Shia. And today, uh, the end of the call is you are out of Islam. That's wonderful. Now you said you are afraid from hell. Well, for me as a Christian, I am not afraid of hell. I believe in the Messiah and I will be with him. Anytime feel free to call me. And if you have anything you want to learn about the Messiah, I will be happy to help you. But right now, I invite you to read the Bible, the four Gospels of Jesus, and think deeply about the invitation I will give it to you now. There's no salvation except with the Messiah. And his, mess, his name is a great Wherever you go, even in the cult of Islam, Muhammad, he could not deny how great the Messiah is. And right now, he is the living person in heaven. For he is the word of God. For he is a divine. For he is our Lord, our merciful, and our salvation. So I invite you to believe in him. And you don't need to believe that the Messiah is God just because I said that to you. Go and read, research, study, and look at the amazing teaching of Christ. What do you say? Mm -hmm. <sighs>
I don't know, man. Actually, they are. I, I don't know. There, uh, nothing makes uh, sense for me right now. Like, there's not a single religion that makes sense. Yeah, Islam when, when, when uh, doesn't about, make uh, sense. Uh, sense. Shia, Sunni. Yeah, when you speak about sense, a sense depends. A sense to who? Because for me, right now, like Christianity, Judaism, I have thought about Hinduism. Even uh, even atheism uh, doesn't uh, doesn't make sense for me. Like right now, I I don't know, man. Uh, life doesn't make sense. It's it's all right. You see, I'll give you time. Go on, read and research at any time. Feel free, uh, uh, Hassan. If you like, you can call me any time, and I will be happy to help you. But why are there uh, so many like uh, Christians leaving Christianity and and there is so uh, many people I mean, so, yeah. so many Christians accepting Christianity where are there so many uh, leaving Christianity what do you mean atheist or uh, what I mean in the past like uh, what I uh, what I uh, live now like 60 60 percent are atheists. No, no um, it's not, that's not true. Yeah. Those numbers are false. It's, Those numbers it are used false. to be no, 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 no. You know, uh, you much know? less, like you, fifty do, years ago or seventy okay. years ago. Do, so. do you live in the state? Do you live in the state? No. Okay. If you live in the state, you can go every Sunday, and you will see you will not find a place to park your car when you go to uh, any any church. Our church is not only churches; they are mega churches, are huge. So Europe, I'm talking about Europe. It doesn't, Europe, Europe. They are, you know, they they, they became uh, more, uh, more into secular. This is why you don't see really Christian, but they are exist and they are in a huge number. But they are not aggressive people to force themselves to show here where we go. We are here, like when uh, when the church in France in Paris was was burned, tens of thousands appear in the street praying in the street. So where was the Christians before? Nobody saw them. But suddenly everybody see the Christians. Christians are not like Muslims. They don't go pray in the street to show themselves. They are all over. But we don't. We are not hypocrite. So if you think that Europe became not a Christian, I think this is a very wrong uh, idea about Europe. No, no. Uh, I mean, like uh, they have uh, uh, decreased. For there example, is, uh, fifty freedom, years ago, always, there um, our friend, always, uh, always a freedom, the, always a freedom, the the freedom, freedom. I, I prefer a freedom where nobody stay hypocrite and nobody stay saying I'm a Muslim or a Christian or I'm a communist. You see, in the in, in China, nobody dare to say he is not a communist. Correct? Mm -hmm. There is many Christians and there is many Muslims, but nobody dare to say I am not a communist. No. Uh, uh, same in the Saudi Arabia. There is many atheists. There is many gays. There is many lesbians. There is many Christians. There is many, but nobody dare to say I'm not a Muslim. So, so yes, they say that. Uh, hundred percent is Muslim, but right. I don't believe that. I think that's no impossible. So, so freedom, <laughs> I don't care really how many Christians there is, how many I don't care how many Muslim there is. Freedom is good because a freedom can leave no hypocrisy. That's true. Yes, but I don't know. Maybe I have watched uh, also the uh, secondly, too much se secondly, videos. Friend, let us say, let us say that all the world became atheist or uh, Muslim. And I am not. I'm the only Christian. That will not make me wrong. Mm, yes. This is not. A, I yeah. agree. Right now, we are the 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 biggest uh, uh, believe in this earth as a Christians by number. The biggest at all. That will not prove mm. that the Christianity is right. Still, so number doesn't mean nothing. Number mean nothing. What? If, what I agree, but in the I time mean, of Jesus, no, I don't know. I've, in the time of Jesus, for example, there was only twelve uh, apostles. Hmm? Only twelve. Jesus and 12 apostles. Does that mean Jesus was wrong? No. So this is not really what make you make believe wrong or right. It is the belief itself, the value of it, and the proof of it. If it is true, it's true. It's not, it's not. No matter how many people believe in it or not. Sure, sure. But uh, uh, I mean like leaving or crit uh, criticizing. For example, I watched uh, a guy who his name is... Uh, Part Ehrman and I don't know, <laughs> maybe yeah. And I, I can refute him. Either. You know that guy? Yeah, I know him. He can refute. Like, him. I saw and, a, and even, a even debate one, even between one, him and yeah, uh, even, James White even about this the, one, he, he brought nothing. Uh, you know, he says to us, the Bible, the Bible is improved by time. Why? 
because uh, uh, and that's a positive for him the Bible is not a perfect book but that's that's stupid to say the the Bible translation improved by time uh, because we discover more and more manuscript so mm -hmm. that will not is, is working in the opposite direction for negative it's positive all the improvement happen in one direction proving everything Christianity teach not the opposite like if you find something a new manuscript saying the opposite of what we found before then that will be a problem but what we found confirm what we found before so the new find is the same as the old find nothing changed so his argument is very uh, silly but you know uh, 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 people they are free as I said uh, people are free to make any argument and there is you use your brain and your mind and you make a decision who is the one makes sense for you you know you left yeah, Islam. Sure, uh, you left Islam well, now, yeah. but you know you are free to to believe or not to believe. Mm, yes, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, feel free anytime if you want to call me. I will be happy to hear you. And we, we, for for now, I have to let you go. We are here for a while. Thank you for calling. Yes, yes. I'm happy that you left Islam already. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Hassan. Take care. Yes. Take care. Shukran.